So if you're a musician and you're having trouble being motivated because you got a busy work schedule, you get home and you're dead tired and you're like, what the fuck? Like, I'm super busy with my job. I don't know how I'm going to be able to possibly continue to pursue a music career if I got this job. One of my clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy actually asked me this, and this is the academy I, I teach music artists how to become their own producers in 90 days. If you want information on that, click the link below, go watch the main video. But uh, I'm literally going to read the question that he asked me. I'm going to read the whole thing. I'm not going to say his name, but he said, hey, Lee, this past week has been a lot for me. I didn't make our group call on Thursday. We have group calls twice a week. I didn't make the call on Thursday because I became so engulfed in work and other stuff. Is there any chance you'd be able to do a motivational video of how best, in your opinion, to handle hectic daily life, but still manage to incorporate this class? I'm watching the call I missed now, but for future reference, when it seems hard to want to do much from being worn down. So, to you, I won't say your name, my client, but not just to my client, but to everybody watching this, fuck motivation. I've, t I've said this before, but you don't need a fucking motivational video. You need systems in place. I'll give you a little fucking motivation first, but you need systems in place to actually be able to get shit done. First off, the fuel that you need, I call it the Kobe mentality, right? The black mama mentality. If you really like go watch Kobe and talk, like go watch his old motivational videos, you hear the stories. He, he used to do some crazy ass shit. Like he'll be fucking get two, three hours, four hours of sleep. Go, go to the gym four or five times a day type shit. Just go and did crazy crazy shit. I was watching, I don't know if you're into, if you're not into basketball, I don't give a fuck, but this story will relate. I was watching another NBA player. His name is Gilbert Arenas. He has a podcast now. You know, all those basketball players have their podcasts now. It's really cute. But anyway, so I saw Gilbert Arenas and he said, here's the reason why I think, I don't think he said Kobe was the greatest, but he, he said, here's the reason Kobe Bryant was so great and why so many players respect Kobe. When it came to like actual talent, which means things you have without trying, Michael Jordan, he wasn't the most talented but he had a lot of talent. He had great jumping ability. Michael Jordan had big hands. He had certain talent. Kobe only had his height. He was like six foot six. He had no talent though. And people are like, oh, how can you say no talent. Like Kobe didn't have talent, especially for what Kobe was able to do in the amount of time he did it and with the abilities he had naturally gifted to him. The reason Kobe Bryant made it happen with five championships, MVP, multiple scoring titles, and just like the reason Kobe is Kobe was literally just because of his work ethic, because he would go out and do crazy ass shit behind the scenes that no one fucking knew about. So here's the deal. Like when it comes to me and like how I've been able to do what I've been able to do, which is like, I went from legitimately 13 fucking years of just this zero. 13 years and then suddenly psh, 2023 did a hundred thousand dollars in cash collected with i'm sorry i fucking choked up even fucking saying that. i couldn't even believe i just said that but how did i go from fucking zero to psh, hundred thousand dollars in really my first year of running this business rapid fire music academy in a music business how the fuck did i do that because at the beginning of 2023 really going into 2022 i literally said to myself okay 2023 i am going to work harder than i've ever worked in my entire life that was what i said i thought kobe i thought michael i was like i'm going to fucking work harder than i've ever worked in my entire life i don't give a fuck what it takes so i literally started the year i had three jobs coffee i've told this story before but fuck it i'm gonna tell it again because it's my story I worked at the coffee shop I was doing videos kind of like this for a couple of real estate agent clients and I was editing for them. So I was doing their social media as well. I was training basketball players. Three fucking jobs, bro. Three. Like I was legit working seven days a week. In the first six months of the year, I had somewhere between maybe nine and 10 days off. Some shit like that. Total in six months. Let that sink in. Six months, 180 days. Out of the 180 days, nine of them were days off. I didn't take breaks. I didn't take days off. I slept barely. I took breaks during during the day sometimes, but I didn't take days off because I set the fucking intention. And like, I think the thing is too, like, look, bro, if you really want to do music, here's the fucking truth. You have to go all in on it. I have been all in on music since 2011. Like it's 2020. I don't know who, what year you're watching this shit, but I'm filming it February 26th, 2024. Like I've been all in on this fucking thing. And when I, and, and I think, wait, 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 what month was it? I think it was June. I think it was June. No, it was July, I believe. I think July or June or something of 2023 was when I quit all the jobs I had and just went all in on music because I was making enough money to do it. To be honest with you, when I quit, wasn't the smartest time to quit. I quit and I didn't really have enough money saved up in the bank to be able to quit. I quit because 
because I knew if I quit those other jobs and just went all in on my music, like really put my back against the wall, that I would fucking go harder because I'm all in. And I just think a lot of us settle. I think a lot of us, not us, fucking, not me, but a lot of you, like you might be watching this. I don't fucking settle, but you might be watching this and you might settle for less. You might be cool with where you're currently at. Like you might be comfortable. I'm like, I have moments of comfort, but fuck, man. Like I don't just sit back and, oh, I'm cool with where I'm at. Like, man, whatever. Like when I get home, like, bro, you think I got home from work and was, and was like, fuck, like I just need to rest. Like, yeah, there were some days, but I crafted my schedule in a way where I got shit done that I needed to get done. So part of it is working really fucking hard. The whole six minutes or however long this fucking video is up to this point just has been on the fucking, the mental part. If you're really all in on music, like what the fuck are we talking about? If we're really all in, if you really give a fuck about your goals, if you really care, what do you, you don't have motivation? What are we talking about? Now, on a logistical standpoint, you do need to have systems in place. I have something, and it's not exactly the sexiest system, but I have this thing here. Oops, I just dropped a fucking pen. I have this thing here called the power list. I've talked about this before and I literally use it in my academy, but I mean, it's literally like this, right? And I, I learned this from Andy Frisella from his podcast. He had a podcast at the time called MF CEO Project. And I've been using this bro, handwritten system since 2017. It's since developed. I'll share that with you too. But literally what it is, is you have to just write five critical tasks of things you want to get done during the day that are critical to your career goals or your, you know, your personal development goals. If you don't get them all done, you write an L. If you get them all done, you write a W. Simple as that. So let's, let's see what I've got here for today. Review view my five mistakes video. So I've got a YouTube video, five mistakes of artists that I sent to an editor to, to, to edit. So I got to review his edits, review check-ins. We do check-ins in my rapid fire music Academy every Sunday script. One YouTube video did that script for Instagram reels did that film YouTube video doing that right now. And I'm going to check all those fucking boxes off and then I'm going to write a W and that's a system that I use. So a lot of times people say, well, I'll start with three things. Well, why are you being a fucking pussy? Why don't you just write five? What's wrong with five? Some people are like, like overachievers. You know what? I'm going to go and write eight things. Why? Why do you have to like, feel like you can conquer the world? Like stop fucking do, do five, five is enough. It's more than enough. Get that shit done. Be consistent. Look like we've really been rocking this for a long, long time. This started November 4th, 2022. You could take a look. So I use that. I also use a calendar blocking system where I have two types of, I mean, I could go into the computer and show you, but that's way too much fucking work for this video. But I have two types of, you know, kinds of activities, proactive work and reactive work. Proactive work is deep work. That's work work that doesn't involve anybody, like just myself. So scripting videos, uh, filming videos, reviewing old uh, coaching calls or building stuff for my course. These are all things that don't involve people. And then there's the enrollment calls and or sales calls that I take that involve enrolling folks like yourself into the academy if that's something you want to get into. So booking those calls, that's reactive work, not deep work. And so I have blocks in my schedule from about 10 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. Actually, it's really 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. But from 5.15 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. every single day, I'm doing work here by myself that doesn't involve anybody else. So I have alongside the power list, I have that block schedule as well. So I've got both of those things and I don't fuck around. Like at the end of the day, I, I don't need motivation. I have to make music work because at this point my rent is paid and the gas is, the groceries are put here because of the money I make from music. So ain't no fucking quitting for me, but I've always had this attitude even before that was the case. Even when I had other shit going on, I always had the mentality of like music's going to put food on the table. It's going to put gas gas in the tank, it's going to put money in my bank account. So I have to treat it as such. I have to act as if before I actually get to that point. Hope this video helped.